Hey guys, welcome back. We haven't met for a long time. I hope you miss me a little bit. Today, as usual, I will try to cheer you up. And I hope you enjoyed this video and like it and give your response. Wait, wait. I know you're not subscribed to our Instagram. So fix it faster and let's get it started. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Herr Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. Are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I... Uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan.
and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on, and I must have made some sort of noise, because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Hmm. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Hey. All right. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. OK. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just. Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here. It's, him. it's too late. Warm up. Shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Yeah. <sighs> 
shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. Damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the dad. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about.
For you, Mister. Le devo la vida. Good luck with it. Que alivio. Yeah. Any business at the mine? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender.
I tell you, life ain't easy. Oh, that's terrible. It'll get better. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to hear this. Take care. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry about all of this. But she ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do. jail, but it weren't my fault. I'm sure. It's nice out there. That's enough now, partner. <sighs> You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen, listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness, but... Don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Yep, yep. Yeah. I'm 
sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. someplace else start over here take this I don't need it no more I don't want your money yeah I know you don't want it I don't you sure as shit need it take it no I ain't looking for forgiveness it ain't about that but don't forgive me just take the money and get out of here please I know I ruined your life I suffer for it every day but don't let yourself get killed for, for pride I seen it kill too many folk don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Be brave. <coughs> uh, Mrs. Londonderry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I don't know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. I just wanted to say the debt canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. 
You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Easy, girl. You're okay. Here. Okay, take it easy. You doing oh. okay? Considering? Look at me. Things aren't good. I'll give you that. Alright. Hey. Ah. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me, and you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. If we can get through a morning with no argument. Hey, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Bye bye.